In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to edit clips that have already been brought into our project. We're doing this inside Premiere Pro CS5. In the previous tutorial, we looked at editing clips down in our timeline, which is a, a quick way to do it if, if you need to get something out really quick. But my pr preferred way of editing clips is in, is in the source monitor, making use of the tools that we have available to us inside the source monitor. So we're going to do the same thing we did in our last tutorial. We're going to bring down, th we're going to use three clips, and we'll start with the fireboat clip. So two ways to bring this clip into our source monitor. One is to double click on it, and it pops up in our source monitor. I'm going to click on this down arrow at the top of the source monitor to close that. So I remove that from the source monitor. The other way is to simply click and drag it over to the source monitor. Once the clip is inside Source Monitor, again, notice the yellow lines around this panel indicating that's our active panel. I have several tools available to me. One is I have this playhead, this blue, blue triangle that I can scrub within the Source Monitor to see what that clip looks like. I also have some navigation buttons to play, stop, move forward, backward, etc. available to us here right under the Source Monitor here in the center. The, uh, the shuttle button, which is right below the play button, I can take this clip to, to forward or backwards, the further left or right. I take it the faster it goes forward or backward. And then below that we have what we call the jog. And again, I can use that to move back and forward through, through the clip. The further right I drag it, the further right it goes, etc. So that's the shuttle and the jog controls right below the navigation buttons. Then we have some other icons to the left and right of those, and we'll talk about a few of those as we go through these steps on how to edit a clip within the source monitor. So as I scrub through this clip, I decide mm, I like the beginning of this clip, but maybe towards the end of this, as we zoom out from, from the ship, I want to kind of cut that off so we don't spend so much time uh, zooming out from there. So maybe like right in here is where I want to end that clip. So what I've done is I've taken this, this playhead, this blue triangle, and placed it at the point where I want to end the clip. A couple of the icons to the left of the navigation bars at the very top left and right in this section underneath the source monitor, we have this, an option to set in point and another option to set out point just to the right of that. Since I want the clip to end here, I'm going to click on this option to set out point. Notice the keyboard shortcut is to hit the O key. When I click on that, notice from the beginning of the clip to where my playhead now sits is this light gray color. That light gray color indicates to us the, the selected part of the clip at this point. And I could tweak that if I wanted to. I could take my cursor to the end of this and click on the, actually I missed it, click on that out point when I get the right bracket that indicates I'm on the out point, and I can tweak that out point from, from the timeline as such. Or if I wanted to change the out point, I could just simply move my playhead to another location, click on set out point, and it moves it that way. I'm going to bring this out point back in a bit to end right at that point. So I've set the, uh, the length of that clip. In this particular one, we only set the out point because I just wanted to affect the, uh, the last frame of that clip versus the uh, beginning or the first frame. So in this one, we only set the out point. Once I've set the in and out points, the in point will default to the beginning of this clip since we did not edit that. I can drag this down into the timeline. A couple ways to do this on this first one, we'll just click on it and drag it down into the timeline as such. Now I'm going to take my, my CTI in my timeline to the end of that clip. The, uh, the quickest way to do that is to hit the page, page up and page down keys. It will take you to, from one edit point to another. In this case, since my entire project is just one clip, the home and end keys will do the same. The home key takes you to the beginning of the project, or the beginning of the timeline. End key takes you to the end of the timeline. Whereas page up and page down take you between edit points. So we've edited the first clip. I'm going to now check out our second clip, which is going to be this kayaking. So I'm going to double click on that. Actually, a point here is I need to double click on the icon 
little video icon to actually bring it into the source monitor. If I double click on the name of that clip, it's going to give me the option to edit the name of the clip. So after I double click on the icon for kayaking, it pops it into our source monitor. On this one, let's do something a little more interesting. Let's say we want to affect both the beginning and the end parts of this clip. We want to only do a section of this clip. So I'm going to take my little blue playhead, scrub along here. Say I want to start as he kind of gets into this more center of the screen, maybe right in there. So I'm going to click on my set endpoint or press I on my keyboard. And I'll scrub it to the end of this. I tend to scrub. You can also play, use your little other buttons to go back and forth. And I will go to maybe right in here before he starts to go off the front of that screen there. And we'll set our out point right there. Notice again we have the light gray area indicating the, uh, the selected part of this clip that will be used. Another way to bring this down into a timeline, I can click and drag like we did with the first clip. We also have these two icons just to the right of our jog and shuttle options for insert and overlay. Now if we use these two icons, you want to pay attention to where your CTI is sitting in the timeline. Right now my CTI is sitting at the end of the first clip, which is perfect. Because when we click on these, it's going to place these place this clip that's in our source monitor where our CTI is sitting in our timeline. Now right now if I do insert or overlay, either of these icons is going to do the same thing since there's nothing in the timeline after the CTI. So I'll just go ahead and click on insert. Another important aspect when we use these two options, you want to pay attention to the active the active video layer. In this case, video one was highlighted, so it places into the video one. If, if video two had been selected, or move this up here, it would place into the video two. So do, do pay attention to your active layer, and it will default to the video one layer, and so until you're doing something a little more complex, um, you should be all right with that. All right, so we placed our clip into the timeline. Notice my C tie automatically went to the end there or since I moved it now I'm going to use my page up and page down to place it at the end. And now I'm going to work on the third clip. Notice as you move clips over into our source monitor, they stay in the source monitor. This drop down is going to list any clip that we have brought over there. To kind of keep this cleaned up, I'm going to do a close all. Then I'll double click on, we'll do our fireworks again. And notice the icon over here in the project panel is slightly different for the fireworks than it was for the kayaking or the fireboat that we brought in as the first clip. That's because the fireworks clip includes sound, so we see this little little speaker icon. When I bring this fireworks clip down to the timeline, I'm only, I'm only going to bring the video and not the sound, so I'll show you how to do that. So again, let's just do a really quick edit here. Let's say we really like the beginning of this clip. We only want to change maybe the end of this clip, so when we get, maybe when there's that big flash right there, that to be our last frame. So I take my playhead to that point, click on set out point or O, use a keyboard shortcut. Now to bring only the video clip, notice these two icons right above the timeline in the source monitor. We have a video icon and we have an audio icon. I'm going to click on that video icon to just bring the video and click and drag and place that right up against our second clip. And there we have our third and final clip of the timeline. So that's a quick overview on how you can do editing within the source monitor.